We're less than 24 hours into the highly anticipated solar eclipse, and millions of Americans say they plan to travel or take some time off to enjoy what could be a once in a lifetime event. Tomorrow afternoon, the moon will block out the sun to create a total, total solar eclipse, which will start in Texas and cut northeast across the country towards Maine. Thousands of Americans are traveling far and wide to get the best view possible, including one man who drove from Atlanta to Ohio just to get a glimpse. I want to experience it unobstructed as much as possible. I already drove about 10 and a half hours just to get here, and I'm willing to drive another nine and a half hours just to see a, a more certain, clear version. If you don't plan to travel this time around, just be mindful the next solar eclipse won't happen in the U.S. for another 20 years. Fox 5 Storm Team Meteorologist Jonathan Stacey is back to break down what you can expect to see tomorrow afternoon in the skies above North Georgia. We're just hours away from one of the most anticipated celestial events of the century, the April 8th solar eclipse across North America. Simply put, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and Earth, casting a shadow over parts of Earth, blocking the face of the sun for observers on the ground, especially those in the path of totality. Unfortunately, Georgia is not in the path that extends from southern Texas to New England, but with 70 to 90 percent totality across the state, we are sure to have an exceptional view of what is called a partial solar eclipse across the Peach State. In Atlanta, the eclipse begins at 1.45 in the afternoon and it ends just before 4.30. At its maximum, the eclipse will have a crescent moon-like appearance just after 3 o'clock. Now remember, you have to wear your approved solar eclipse eyewear to protect your vision during the two-and-a-half-hour event as you gaze into the darkening skies. And no, sunglasses are not a safe substitute. Enjoy the eclipse.